Hey guys, Wave Squad's reporting in. I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. I'm Eric. And you might be like, why are these guys all glassy eyed? Well, we're at Star Wars Celebration and we're just reveling mm-hmm. in, uh, in, in fandom, right? Indeed. In, in this one franchise that people from all over the world have come and are able to just kind of like put aside differences and talk about just one thing, and that one yeah. thing is Star Wars. And uh, to go even further, the one thing we're going to be talking about today is this new final gameplay trailer for Star yeah. Wars Jedi Survivor. It should be mm-hmm. final. It comes out in like a couple weeks. It's so yeah. close. Is it a couple weeks? I thought it it's comes out like... It's the end of April. Oh, man. It's not that far. It's like April 29th. Now, a lot of you know that Aaron and I have been going through uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, I, I, right here on Wave Squad. And if you go to the live tab, you can see all of it. Uh, but you I can also check out I think we might have to dumb that down as we continue streaming to, yeah. the, to the story mode. Because we've been too long talking about all the other but stuff. But I gotta, I gotta read the entire database. I know, I know. We gotta, we gotta do, we've been doing all the Easter eggs and all this stuff. <laughs> Which I need is to good. Get, I need it's to get through all the enemies faster. Okay. So I may, we may have to dumb that down okay. more. Just so we can talk. Sure. We can talk too much. Well, make sure you're coming along with us. Get your final refresher. We're also going to be talking about Battle Scars as well. A whole bunch of stuff with this game. But we're going to be checking out the final gameplay trailer. Mm-hmm. Right now, you guys ready to start? Yeah, yes. yes. Let's do it. Come on. Thank you. You were only a child when they sent you off to war. Is that the Sears? Now look at you. It's the weight of a galaxy wow. on your shoulders. Oh, look at her. She's so different. <gasps> He's scanning. <laughs> He's got a rocket jump. Be more careful about who you scan. Does that mean you can like send him places? I, oh, scan? I, mean, I feel like he stop. ran really long there. Or where the Whoa! Oh shit! Oh, 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 of course not. The giant dash. The giant dash. Who's back? Yes. Whoa! Dude, buff dude. Rancor! Rancor! Oh, cool. They will always be against us. Dude, dude, she get to go inside then? Like hijack it? Dude, she got a sound check. What's this? Yeah, look at the the green. Oh, my. It's a good guy. Is this a hexen dude or who's this guy? He's so big. He's yeah. Do you remember Dirty? Destroy him. If there is any uh, hope, yes, yeah, we can. Whoa. We must stand against the darkness. Oh, you're mounted. What? That was cool. Yeah, I think so they're team fighting with friends. Like they're not alone. Like companion system, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. You get. You probably have like companions in your ship, and you choose which ones you take. That or it's music. based on like the story mission. Damn it. That music was fantastic. There's... It was. Yeah. Holy shit. That was awesome. Okay, do we want to go back through it frame by frame and talk about it? Or you know what? A discussion? Usually we would, but the game's coming out pretty soon. We don't want to go too far. Sure. Aaron is going to be streaming this one wave squadron. Yeah, I was debating on watching this. I'm like, I wanted surprises and yeah. stuff too. I didn't like the companion thing looks cool. And uh, can you hijack an ATST? And yeah. I'm sure there's going to be more stuff more? that's going to surprise you. I hope so. Oh, you guys didn't ruin it all. No, <laughs> there's more. There's I, I there's, saw like oh, the story trailers and stuff for. For Fallen Order. Now, yeah. I haven't seen any of the story stuff still. Yeah. I've just seen the gameplay moments okay. and stuff. Gameplay wise. Yeah. That looks so fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll be playing it eventually too, but there's a little game called Legends of the Tears of the Kingdom that I gotta play first. Just, just a little That's thing. also coming out. There's a, there's just so much. We're so spoiled. Spoilery. We're so spoiled, Eric. <laughs> We're so spoiled of all this great content. And you know that I would just play it at home, but I can't. I gotta wait so that I can play it with all the people at Wave Squadron. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. So yeah, that was fantastic. I actually have one more video that I wanted to watch before we end this video. Okay. okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up. Ladies and gentlemen of Star Wars Celebration 2023, uh, Cal Kestis himself, Cameron Monaghan. Cameron. Look! Look at that. The height of fashion. Look at that poncho. The height of fashion. Okay. Okay, It's still gone. gone. We have an issue here. I'm sorry, what is the issue? Uh, Well, see, Anthony, Stig, you're talking about the story, gameplay, Characters, 
But you haven't mentioned a poncho. <laughs> You're going off the script here, Cam. I wasn't supposed to come out here no, today, but we have to get to the bottom of this. Stick. <laughs> Can you confirm here today, will there be a poncho in the game? I told you we weren't going to talk about it. <laughs> See, it's in my contract. I would only agree to be in the second game if there was a poncho. Mm. You think it was because of your story that people played the first game? No. Poncho. <laughs> poncho. Here's poncho. the thing. A lot of people don't know this, but when you ask Cameron, like, what elements of him and his personality and who he <laughs> is went into Cal Kestis, he said it's mostly ponchos. It's mostly poncho. It's 99% poncho. <laughs> you, see, you see this guy walking around town. Ponchos all the way down. I mean, I'm not going to leave the stage until we find out if there's a poncho. Well, You're not going to get an answer. Blink once if there's a poncho. What was that? Blink once if there's a poncho. You don't? Okay. I let's, get this, let's get this back on track. Let's get this okay. back on track. Here's a real question. Yes. It's not poncho related. Okay. So be prepared. It's, hard. it's okay. okay. Be prepared for this. Okay. How has Cal evolved since we last saw him? What's going on with him? Well, first thing I notice is he's not wearing a poncho. Anymore. Cameron! <laughs> Cameron! <laughs> all right, okay. That's all we need right now. Uh, he also, so I was, you can't see me in this video, but I was pretty far back there hearing this happen. I'm like, I'm going to show this to Aaron. Um, and then, uh, I don't know if it's in this video or it's not. It's got to be in the video. I saw the end, I saw what happens. Do you see what happens? I saw yeah. it from way back. Yeah, but they, they, they took, I didn't want, because I didn't want to get into spoilers or anything like that. I don't want to go too far into what the question was, but he fucking, he throws that poncho into the crowd. Oh. Yeah. And it's, uh. I think he gives it he to gives the cow. cow. Yeah, cow Kestis. Uh, catches it, and then he gets down there, and they take a picture with the guy in the background with his poncho. So, anyway, a really great moment here at Celebration. You never know when something like that's going to happen. But I don't know. I thought that I was being really original with my poncho obsession. Is that me being an influencer, or is that just, um, uh, it's just uh, parallel yeah. thinking? I, I, just, I think Clint Eastwood started it. I get what you mean. Yeah, I think I'm just saying. I pers Aaron and I kind of <laughs> organically got into this. Like, dude, put the poncho on. He's like, I'm not put the poncho on. Poncho sucks. I'm like, what? My play what? through. What? The poncho's the best part. <laughs> My play through. I did not wear Hang ponchos. On. Luke, there's so many ponchos in Star Wars. Man, there's a difference. Ahsoka. There's a difference. Look, no. Yes. There's a difference. I don't know. And now I have him on my side. What are you the, gonna say the now? The Jedi robish cloth poncho. His ponchos just look like they're made for rain. I don't want that. That's what ponchos are for. No, no, that's well, how. That's they're all for all environment. Why doesn't do that? Yeah. No, they're made yeah. for heat. Clint Eastwood didn't rain. do that. I don't know what Clint Eastwood did. I don't. But he did. Did for what? It's just they're too. I don't. Know. No, you just no. I love ponchos. If you want a blind wave <laughs> poncho, you did, <laughs> like this. You don't video. make a point. I can't right, refute no. it. <laughs> I want to convince Aaron that we're not we, doing this for one. I need to convince Aaron that we're going likes, to put a lot of money no. into producing blind wave ponchos. I would wear blind wave ponchos. Everybody's gonna. Everybody's gonna get hey, one. Okay? People would love if you gave away blind wave ponchos at blind wave conventions or Star Wars celebration. Why would I do that? They're so valuable. They're so like you don't want to just give them away. Yeah, you're right. Like. You know, like give away free money, you know? Free gold. Hey, here's your gold. Yeah. No. To the I two mean, people that, that want That would them. be a good thing, Eric. You and Cal, that's all you get. We've talked about two robots people. replacing human workers and how, like, you, everyone should have a universal income. The only way to know is to know how many likes are on here and if there's enough people that like ponchos. And I bet... If you like ponchos, if you like Cal Kestis' obsession with ponchos, like this video. Yeah. We need them. <laughs>